a weekend at Camp David to refine a legacy-making choice. While there, President Biden is expected to review the writings and work of his Supreme Court finalists. White House officials say these three jurists remain as contenders. Katanji Brown Jackson, a federal appeals judge who clerked for the retiring Justice Breyer. California Supreme Court Justice Leandra Kruger and J. Michelle Childs on the federal bench in district court in South Carolina. The president with Lester Thursday revealed his list had narrowed. What's the number you're at? Four, five, six? Well, what I've done is I've taken about four people and done the deep dive on them, meaning this thorough background checks. With FBI background checks underway, the president personally consulted with Republican senators Mitt Romney, Lisa Murkowski, and Susan Collins. Aides did more outreach, while Democrats on the Judiciary Committee met with the president Thursday night. He's going to take up a meeting with the nominees soon, and we encouraged him to do it the right way, but we're anxious to get started. Officials say the president is expected to be ready for in-person interviews with his finalists as early as next week, a critical step near the end of his selection process. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.